Hi guys, I'm back and we're going to do another bloom technique pour or whatever you would call this. Um, just because I have some paints left over and I want to give it a little more sort of experimentation. I'm going to pour a little bit more on here just because I have plenty in my cup. And that way maybe Maybe it won't take quite so long to stretch to, from one side to the other. Okay, so that was the, um, I'm using the Glidden. Um, it's an Oops paint from the Home Depot. And I bought it like uh, in 2011. So, you know, eight, nine years ago. And uh, paid probably, at that time, probably paid about five bucks for it. So, and then we're using, mixed into the colors, we've got our pouring medium which is the polycrylic, uh, an ounce of that, mixed with the ultra deep base, untinted, semi-gloss, and there's three ounces of that. So then we mix that into the paints, and then we've also got for the white that goes on the top, it's the Liquitex Basics Titanium White mixed with some Floetrol and a hint of water. So we're going to use uh, the same colors we used in the last one, the Anita's deep eggplant and then we're going to use the Anita's metallic antique gold and then the Anita's island blue those are our three colors we'll make this one a little more simple and I think we're going to use the purple again no let's use the gold on the bottom to see if if it'll if it'll come through a little more we didn't have much gold in the last one I'd really like this to be way more gold We're just going to put a circle in the mostly the center. That's good enough. And then that blue's got lots of bubbles. If you let your paint sit for a while, it gets out most of the bubbles, but I'm trying not to drag it across there like that. I'll put a pinch more gold in there. There we go. And maybe a hint more blue. The, for some reason, the um, my ultra deep base is really stringy. I don't know if they're all like that because they're so thick or if I just got a crummy batch. I don't know. Put a little more white in here than I did the last time. Okay. So there's not much purple in there. I kind of wanted more purple, but we'll see how this goes. So <laughs> I'm going to pick it up and blow on it again. <laughs> Trying to pop some of the air bubbles. That's what I'm doing. You can't really see that off of camera. So I really would like for you guys to see that better, but I really don't want to stick my head under the um, the camera there because nobody wants to see the top of my head. As you can see, like with this house paint, it really gives the, I don't know if you can see that or not, but the blue is sort of spreading on the top of the, the white, the house paint. So we're going to blow. Oops, stuck my finger in the paint. Well, let's put some gloves on real quick. I did forget about my gloves. I'm sorry, guys. That is a habit that's going to be hard to hard to remember because I'm so used to not wearing my gloves. And I've already set them where I can't find them. <laughs> but see, we'll let it sit. And as you can see, you've got the cells coming up through that white. And the reason... The reason that the cells are coming up through that white is because the white is titanium white, and the titanium white is heavier than your other pigments. So it's going to start sinking through the colors. Probably 
probably needs a little more blowing out, I do believe. So let's blow a little bit more. Okay, so we'll leave that and we'll just let it sit for a minute. And, um, <laughs> I don't know. Okay, most people that are doing this are blowing, like, bigger sort of blooms. I have a really small mouth, so maybe that's why mine are so small and skinny. <laughs> I don't know. Um, we may have to try these products with the hairdryer and see what happens, but that, that paint is so thick, it's, it's going to be hard. It's probably going to make a mess all around the kitchen because those big globs of paint will go flying. But as you can see, we've got some pretty cells. I have a feeling if we took the torch to it, we'd get some prettier stuff popping up. But I'm going to stick to the, the method here, um, but I think I'm going to go ahead and start tilting. And see what we can come up with. Well, the last one I think actually really did turn out pretty. It may not be exactly what the um, technique, you know, obviously it's definitely not as gorgeous as what Shelly comes up with. I mean, hers are just, you just can't compare to hers. But I've seen a lot of pretty people, a lot of pretty um, paintings out there that pe people have been doing. Um, so, and you really do want to leave some white on your canvas. I'm using ceramic, six inch ceramic tiles, but you really do want to leave, uh, the white on there. Let's see how the, the cells are stretching. And if I kept stretching it all the way across, They'd get longer and longer, but they would stay as cells. You know, sometimes with the other paints, you know, when you're doing like a regular dirty pour or something like that, sometimes your cells will break up depending on the paint you're using and how much flow trawl you put in there. And But these you can really stretch just a mile and they will just continue to stretch and stretch and stretch. Take it to the other corners here. Whoops. I did not mean to put turquoise on that. Oh, and I stretched it straight across. Whoops. I got a line there. So we may have to get rid of that. Okay, well definitely I think putting more white in the center helped, for sure. I really want just this corner to come out, but like I don't want the entire line to stretch down. But it's going to. see how big the cells are getting oh they're so pretty I might take that all the way off the corner I think I will for this one you don't always have to have four white corners right um gosh I don't know I kind of want to take it off but then again I kind of don't because I'm gonna lose that gold around the edge but I kind of like it really super stretched that's a tough one. 
It's too bad you guys can't talk to me. You can either tell me keep stretching or no, stop. I think we're going to leave it like that. I think I'm going to leave that white corner. I kind of like it. Okay, that's it for that one. We definitely did better on this one. I don't know if it was just the fact that we put white, more white down. Could have been. Let's see, if you look at this stuff right here, that's like the stuff that she gets like all over. But we've got a lot of it going on here and there and all through there. So this one's definitely better. Wow, that's, that turned out really pretty. I love the colors. We got more gold this time. All right, well, okay. So here is a close up. Look at how the colors are blending together and look so pretty. They look like watercolors. And then here's where we've got those beautiful stretch cells. Oh, they're so pretty. And just a really lovely watercolor effect. Look at how the colors just blend together right there. Oh, they're so pretty. And then how the gold just sort of feathers off into the white. Now, I don't know if you can see this, but you've got kind of like a right in here. You can kind of see where the gold is sort of over the other colors, kind of shimmery. Let's see if we can get a better shot. Can I see how the gold is? It's like glitter, almost. And there was that little accidental line I <laughs> dragged through there, but it actually is so thin that it you really don't notice it, luckily. All right, well, there's your pretty for today. And I hope you guys enjoyed this one. <laughs> um, wherever you're on the planet, I hope you're having an awesome afternoon, day, evening, or night. And uh, see you later. Bye.